Morning everybody, uh, it's Phil from Flights of Fancy at Pulham here. Uh, it's spring, it's a lovely day, it's chick time. And in case any of you fancy hatching out some chicks under a broody hen, if you've got a broody hen or you think you might get one, uh, then here's a little tale of what we've done. Um, I wanted some Cornish game birds and so I purchased from eBay half a dozen fertile eggs and I had a broody peaking hen, got them back, made sure that she was sitting well, popped them under her. Everything went well, she sat beautifully. And then about a week and a half, two weeks afterwards, I came down one Saturday morning and there she was walking around in the broody coop, checked the eggs and they were stone cold. So rather than give up, you should never give up on these things. I picked them up, took them up to a Maggie Six that we've got on display in the front and where I had an older Peking hen who had just gone broody. Older, a bit more experienced, they tend to sit better. So I popped them underneath her and tiptoed away and just basically left her to it. Uh, so it didn't disturb her again at all. If you'd like to see any more of our videos, don't forget to subscribe. So what we did was I checked her on the day that they were due to hatch, nothing. I checked her a day after they were due to hatch. We had one chick, which is amazing. So we basically rescued one chick and then left her with that chick. And then a day after, checked again, two more chicks. We've got three chicks. What a wonderful result. I then checked the other eggs and the other eggs had stopped developing when the other broody had got off and left them to go cold. But we've got three chicks from stone cold eggs. It's a miracle. So. What we're going to do, she's still in the hen house that she was in um, with these three chicks and we want to move her into somewhere more suitable for her to bring them up so that for them to grow. So we've got here a Flights of Fancy Broody Coop and I'll just detail for you basically how we've set it up. It's here on a nice flat level piece of grass next to our goats <laughs> so they'll have something to watch. We have just open the lid, put some hemp bedding in there. It's nice and soft bedding and also put some diatomaceous earth in with the hemp bedding just to make sure that there's no mites, lice or anything like that because they're going to be sat down in there for a long time. In the run, which lifts off like so, we're going to put a small feeder and a small drinker. We've got chick crumb in the feeder, and certainly for the first couple of weeks, I would normally leave um, the, the hen and the chicks on chick crumb. Uh, in fact, I quite often leave them on that until they go onto growers. It's a high protein feed, so it's gonna be good for both of them. And also the drinker, nice and small, quite shallow. Uh, if you've got very young chicks, put some marbles or stones in there so they can't fall in. These little babies are gonna be with their mum, so if they get a bit wet, they can go straight underneath and dry out again. Now what I'm going to do, because they're very young, I'm actually going to put the drinker and the feeder in the house section, so they don't have to come outside. It does mean that you have to check them every day and make sure that they're not full up of bedding or chicken poo or whatever. You've gotta be doing that, but then you should be checking your birds every day anyway. So, also on the broody coop, we have this slidey door on the front there, which for the moment we're going to shut. So when I put mum and chicks in the broody coop, put the lid down, it's gonna be dark. She'll settle back down with her chicks, and then I'll come down in an hour's time, just open the door and they'll come out into the sunshine, which is of course what we want. So, we're ready to go. All we've got to do now is fetch mum and chicks. Here we go. And here we are. This is the Maggie Six that uh, our lovely little broodies brought our uh, three chicks into the world in. And uh, if I just open, open it up, here we will see, oh yes, three lovely little chicks with a uh, cuckoo peeking broody hen. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take mum out first because otherwise she's going to panic and we don't want to damage the chicks in any way. Then I've got a little box with me, uh, which I'll show you in a second, and we will put the chicks in the little box again so that mum can't injure them on the way. 
So what we're going to do first of all is, come on mum, there we go, there we are, how many chicks, how many chicks, one, two, three, there we go, there we are, okay, okay, yep, I know, I know, all right, you're going to a nice place, it's okay, you're going to a lovely place, you'll be able to see the goat, yes, there we go, there's a good girl, right, just quiet there, all right, we've got mum, just going to pop a, pop the box in, Go. Hi guys. Hi guys. One, two, three. There we go. Pop the top down uh, and we'll all have a lovely little trip. Right, here we are at our broody coop. I'm just making sure that the door is shut. There we go. So it's nice and dark in here. Huh? in there for us so she can calm down. Right, then we're going to just pop the back door of the broody coop open. There we are. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the chicks in first. So mum knows that that's where her chicks are. One. Two. Oh, where are you, number three? There we are, number three. Right. And then we're going to pop mum in there. There we go and shut the door, put the safety lock on, and now we're gonna walk away. And we're gonna leave her in there for an hour to calm down after her traumatic little journey. Um, she'll settle with the chicks, it'll calm the chicks down as well. Then I'll pop back in an hour and just open the door to the run, and after a few minutes, they'll toddle out and have a wander around on the grass and say hi to the goats. And enjoy this gorgeous sunshine. Right, okay, so we've, uh, we've left our young lady with her uh, three chicks for an hour or so just to calm down and settle into her new surroundings. Now we're just gonna gently open the door to the coop and let her come out. That's if she wants to, of course, she might decide to stay in there for a while. So we'll just slide that back. And then we'll open up the door. Let's open you up to the wide world, chaps. There we are. There we go. Oh, there we are. Look nice and comfortable there. Right, we'll just uh, put the lid back on the, uh, on the broody coop now, keep them safe and sound. And uh, now she knows where the run is, where the food is, where her little house is, and everyone's obviously quite comfortable. And uh, it's facing away from the wind. Everything will be lovely. And we're gonna pop back every couple of days or so and just have another look and see how they're getting on. So uh, I'll see you again soon. Bye. <laughs>